but you are going to see where the adverts are going to be played. So if I preview project and go start game, once I die, if I crash into the first pipe, the game over function runs and then it plays that advert in the middle. Advert closes and now I'm back to the game. Before we continue with the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to my YouTube channel members and Patreon subscribers, Fuzel CC, Zan, Retro Galaxy, Fan Van, Jet Simon, Olivia Bernier, Amara Lewis, Enmark Games, Seth Coble, Matt, Tor Alexanderson, Rob, Jarrod Demont, Lighting Cat, Martin K, 60 Plus Game Dev, Yanni Boy, Ty Days, and Luna Harless. Thanks for supporting the game dev journey and for more information about what's on offer in the Patreon, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to Flappy Turd. You can see that I've arted up the game here. Um, this is what I have done. Um, everything is all cosmetically uh, done, nothing really f in terms of functionality, except for maybe one or two things, so that was a complete lie. Let me just talk you through the updates. Uh, I would imagine you've gone off and added art to your own games, so uh, I'm sure your art is probably better than mine, but I've added a button background for this button. I've changed the font text. Uh, the text font here to snap itc which is a, a built-in font that construct has nothing's been downloaded and added these are all default fonts same with high score i've changed the flooring to just kind of wooden planks i've added in some pipes uh, anim uh some pipe art and some some kind of poo splats uh, it's just one that's just reversed there's nothing special about it. it's just a single frame i've designed the player with a simple animation with just a flapping wing. This isn't on a loop um, because I want that to flap when the player taps the screen. The way I've made it flap continuously in the title screen is simply by just saying on animation one finished, start the animation again from the beginning. So if I play it, you can see he's just flapping. And then we've got everything else where it needs to be. Back onto layout one i've just again added in a nice blue background put down here basic brown floor plank as the base and uh, just change the text fonts so nothing really too special it just kind of it functions it clocks up a high score and that's all i really want because um we need to now move on and start putting in some adverts to the game which is uh, where the fun starts to happen um, I will probably come back after the adverts are added and, and continue to develop it and add in different kind of skins and different levels but I don't want to do all of that before getting to the stuff that you guys probably are watching the tutorial series just to get that information for so let's uh, let's crack on and do that now the first thing you need to do is head over to Google uh, AdMob and create an account um, the uh, the website is admob.google.com and that will automatically add on home when you go there. You need to create an account here so you can effectively add adverts and get paid. Once you've created an account here, you'll be able to come to your home screen and in the top left hand corner here, you're going to be able to see uh, a, a little button that says apps. If you click on that, you're going to see all of the games that you have already on your AdMob account. Uh, you won't have any if this is the first time. Um, I have Tower Climber, which I did a long time ago, and now I've just uploaded the Flappy Turd. Well, not uploaded, but just created the Flappy Turd app. You wanna go to Add App, and then just follow the instructions on here. So Android, uh, and then No. Then you're going to want to give the app a name. Um, I called mine Flappy Turd. You can call call yours whatever you want. And then you're going to click Add App. When you've done that, you're going to want to add an, an ad unit. I've already added one to mine. But if you click on Add Ad Unit, then you can pick the type of ad that you want to display. I'm going with Interstitial, which is basically those ads that are full screen when you usually when you die you watch an advert and then you can continue playing again but there's a whole bunch of stuff on here um there's more than the scope of this tutorial series so for today we're just picking the institution uh interstitial one so you can go ahead and select that then you can give it an ad uh, a name i've called mine game over because that's when i want the ad to show and then once you've given yours a name just click create ad unit once you've created your ad unit you should get your ids so just leave that screen open and then head back to your Construct 3 game. 
Now we need to double click and I've already added mine in, but down here under monetization, monetization, you're going to see mobile IAP, which is in app purchases. And you're also going to see mobile advert. I've got mine over here already installed or, or not installed, but added into the game. Go ahead and add that into the game and then click on it. Over in the left hand side on the properties, you're going to see a few things. You're going to see test mode, which has a tick in it. Leave that ticked for now. And then you're going to see Android application ID and iOS application ID. So if you're doing it for the Google Play Store on Android, the ID that you're going to want is back over on AdMobs and it's this ID right here. You can copy that, paste that into there. If you're doing um, a game for the um, Apple, then you would simply go back Follow the steps again, but instead of selecting Android in AdMobs, you would select um, iOS. It'd give you the same ID, same situation, same steps. Just copy and paste it in there. Leave everything else to default. Now, we need to go back to our game. The way the, the way the ads work is they need to load before they can play. So it's a good idea to get them loaded earlier on in the game rather than loading them when the player is about to view them. So I've put mine on the title screen. So if you go to title screen, so what I've done is on start of layout, I've added an action, which is the mobile advert and then create interstitial ads. So if I double click again down here, create interstitial advert. It's going to ask you for an ID, uh, an interstitial advert ID. If you go back to ad mobs, the ID is this one here, the bottom one. Copy that, paste it in between the quotation marks in there, and then change show to false because you're not going to be showing it immediately when it's loaded. Once you've done that, that's fine. The next thing you're going to want to do is as a fail safe, is pop in an event down here that says on institutional failed to load. Same thing, go to mobile adverts and it will be down on institutional, uh, institution, you know the word. It will, if the advert doesn't load, create a new one, which is basically just copying and pasting that in there. So you're going to create effectively a loop, which will guarantee you to load an advert because it will just continue to try if it fails. Now you've got your advert loaded and ready to go. Now you need to decide where you're going to show it. Now in my game, I have selected to show it when the player dies. So when the player dies, they watch an advert. And all I've done is in my game over function, I've added a sub event underneath everything else because I want it to run very last. I want it to update the scores first. I want to then show an institutional advert. What that will do is it will take the player to the advert until the advert is available to be skipped or finished watched, and then it will take them back to the game. And all that is, is if you click on to mobile advert, it's show institutional advert. That's all it is. Now, if you play the game, you're, gonna see, you're not going to see an advert because we haven't got that far yet in the tutorial, but you are going to see where the adverts are going to be played. So if I preview project and go start game, once I die, if I crash into the first pipe, the game over function runs and then it plays that advert in the middle. Advert closes and now I'm back to the game. Ready to play again. And they've effectively then watched one advert. I'm going to leave it there for this tutorial. We're going to continue in the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how to upload the game to the Google Play Store. We're going to test the adverts to make sure they're running. We're going to go through exporting the game as well and all the settings and everything you need to know. So we're almost at the end, guys. Thanks for sticking around if you've made it this far. And if you find the video useful or the content useful, please consider clicking like on the video. It does help the channel and uh, I do appreciate the support. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.